Hey, it's because I'm doing a car restart file um, for today's video. So, and now I have duels of this deck on Joy Nexus. So, yeah. So, this is going to be a full in depth video explaining like why I run cards I do and everything like that. So, so three Lucari. Uh, Lucari's effect is that when when it's special summoned by a guy respect, it goes from a 18 to a 21 her beat stick, which can be very, very quite good for help getting over uh, like Thunder King and stuff like that, or like other monsters uh, that you might have trouble getting over. So, three dairies. When he's special summoned by a guy respect, he's basically a monster born. So you target a guy reach card in your grave and then uh, special summon it. Uh, the only thing that you have to watch out for is Dryant, which can be very, very, uh, can mess you up uh, really, really quite bad. So, but other than that, um, this deck has very, very good matchup, matchups across the board. So, yeah. And then two E Quest. When he's special on my garbage effects. Uh, you can target a garbage card in your grave and uh, add back to your hand. So with Necrolly on the on the board, and if you summon that, uh, you can't really do it. But if Necrolly is not on the board, then yes, you can do it. So and then two Bestiary when he's pressed on my garbage effect, you can target a spell trap on, on the field and destroy it. So you can pop your own. You can pop your own back row, which is one card that you really want to destroy, if you have to. Um, but really, you want to pop your opponent's back row as much as possible. So, and then two touch tiger, um, just to help get off the effects a little more quicker. Um, so, and plus two is a good number anyway. And then hop almost. Really good card good. When he's supposed to summon by a guy, by a guy respect, his defense goes from 21 to 24. So it increases his defense just a little bit as well. So, which is really, really quite nice. Mermelio, when he's supposed to summon by, by a guy respect, he, you target one card in the field and destroy it, or one monster anyway. And, which can help get, get over, um, Basically, all the stuff that doesn't negate. So, because if you're going up against Infernoids, you, you want to run over the Monster Effect one and then tag out into Marmalia and pop the Spawn Trap. So, so yeah. And then, Radiari. Radiari is really, really quite good against Zoo and Infernoids. Um, because when he's supposed to have my Guy Respect, you can target one card in your graveyard, or in any graveyard, and then banish it. So you can get rid of, like, the rep here, um, or their common pieces, like Norn and stuff like that. Or you can get rid of uh, Infernoids, like big uh, monsters, like, uh, oh, Deviati, or the other. Uh, other one, I forget the name. I know it, but I, like, I just forget it. Um, and then you also get rid of, like, uh, Snow, which does not trigger, because this does not target, so. So, yeah, that's basically it for the, uh, Monster Lineup. Now for Spows. Three MST. Just to help get rid of back row and stuff like that. Um, that can really hurt this deck a lot. Uh, Guy Reast. Bring Ground is to help search out for a Guy Reast. And then Domtol Guy Reast to help recycle your monsters back into your deck. And then to um, increase the attacks so you can get over stuff. So, Book Moon. And then Dark Hole. Just staple. So... Game two, you want to side out basically your spells for your stuff that um, may like keep two MST in, but side out the rest of stuff for our matchups that you uh, have. 
So, which I'll show you guys my sideboard as well. So, four traps, three war chariot, really, really quite good. Um, go against zoo, go against uh, wind witch, artifact, um, invoked. So, yeah, and then storm mirror force, go against infernoid and wind witch. Um, I made a few other things. It's bad against uh, Paleo, though. And then 3 Wall Coup uh, helps protect your monster from being destroyed. So, yeah. 2 D Prison is D Prison is still a card, and it's actually pretty good. So, yeah. And then 1 Defense Tactics. Uh, basically, it'll just like Wallpaku, but you have to control a guy recently in order to resolve it, so. And then, one Emperor Order. Now, basically what you want to do, game two, is you want to sign out your Spows. Like I said, except for two MST. And you want to sign stuff that will help you win uh, game two a lot more quicker, so. Which is what I've been doing. Uh, I did it Saturday. And it worked really well, so. And then one compulse. Now you're, you guys are probably thinking like, doesn't Impro Order hurt you? Um, a little bit, but I mean it hurts your opponent a lot more. And that's basically what you're going for, so. And then Trenchal. Bottomless. And then Ring of Destruction. Lost Wind. Which is really, really quite good. And then one song warning. So. And that's basically it for the main deck. It's 41 cards. So. Yeah. And then for extra deck. Three guitars. Uh You need three. It's really, really quite good. And it helps burn through back row. And helps make sure that you have a good win uh, under your belt. So, yeah, and then two hair cleaners, one that you're highly not going to make, but so they're to help negate spells and traps and helps you win games, so, yeah. And then two near keys, so that way they can't chain during battle phase, because when this card attacks, you cannot, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage up, which is really, really quite nice, so. And then two Yasudari just to help tag in something that, you know, if you have two useless cards on the field, it's like, well, tag into this and, you know, hope for the best. So, and then one Cowboy, because Cowboy for game is always a thing. Um, Honor Arc, still good. Uh, Giant Hand is still decent. Uh, Bishwater, um, isn't as relevant now, but, you know, BA and PK Fire BA is still a deck, so, you know, you never know what you're going to go up against, and plus Cosmos, this card get, really gets hurt, uh, so, and the Star Striking, um, I do side in one Starlight Road, so, um, yeah, so I'll show you guys my sideboard next, alright, so, Two Flying C for the Paleo Zoo, uh, zoo matchup um, or anything else that I, may, that I might need it for. Uh, one Spear Mode for those unbreakable unbreakable uh, boards that you know are kind of hard to get around. One Drawing Lockbird for like Invoked or anything else. So and then. Two chalice just in case for like zoo or anything else I might need it for, and then two trap tricks, trap hole nightmare. Uh, this card's really, really quite good. Don't know why people don't run it. Um, I mean, yeah, if you're on second, it's not as good, but if you're on first, it's really, really quite good. So, I mean, I, can, I kind of get why, but it's like, me. Eh. And then two decree for the. Uh, Paleo matchup. This is gonna hurt them a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. 
I guess I know I run a lot of traps, but like I said, it's gonna hurt them a lot more than it's gonna hurt me, so. Yeah. And then, Tomb Hurt Iron I only have one, so I'm trying to work on getting one more. But yeah, you need to run two. This will help you win against the Inferno matchup and a lot of other stuff. Same thing with Macro, is when they play Grass, the Grass Looks Greener, chain this, and they'll probably just cry, so. And the Scope Runner, um, just to help you protect your monster from, like, uh, dry it, or I can say anything else, so, um, yeah. And then one Starlight Red for the Star Strain, so. But yeah, um, that's basically it for the deck profile. Play of Fortune, uh, like I said, I'll have duels with this deck on Doing Nexus, so, um, yeah, so thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, I'll catch you all, alright, later.